Couple questions then at the end of just this section. What are the reasons for the claim that language is a specific instinct? What reasons did he just give us here? I went over. Yes? Uh, your name? Jinsi. Jinsi. Right, great. Right, so um, just to repeat, universal grammar is so complex that it's obvious that it's not coming from outside, can't be taught, therefore it must be located in the brain previously and then located as a specific instinct. Why is it located as a specific instinct? Um, because he's seeing it as something that's also an add-on to thought. Right, so that there's thought, and then you can add this on as language. Right? And what evidence suggests that the structures of grammar are passed on genetically? What's the evidence? You what's, what kind of evidence do you give for that? That the, this language instinct is passed on genetically. Good. Uh, um, your name is what? Daniel. Daniel, right. And um, so th there's different disorders of the brain, right? And why specific language impairment? What, what, what's important about specific language impairment? So, specific, yeah? Good, right, so the specific language impairment, they can understand sentences and things, but they really just, they have this difficulty of creating the grammar themselves. And it's something that they just can't do, it seems, all through their life. Plus, it's a disorder that seems to be passed on from parents to children, right? So that's the other important thing. And so because it's, it's a disorder that's passed on from parents to children, it's, it's sort of an indication that there must be some kind of a grammar <laughs> gene that somehow has malfunction in these people and leading them to, to not be able to produce grammar properly. Yeah? So, uh, and again, so just to reiterate, you know, this is a, it's a kind of a circumstantial evidence. He's not, pointing, he's not pointing out the grammar gene to us, but he's just saying, well, because we see this type of disorder, there must be some kind of a grammar gene. 